I was working at a uh, mattress firm. It was uptown. That's why I'd be like, when you said Shy stay somewhere uptown, I said he got to, because I was working at a mattress firm up there. He walk in the joint by himself, Dolo. He didn't know I knew it was him. And I'm like, I'm looking at him like, cuz show this shit. I'm like, he looking for mattress, asked me about it. When I heard his voice, I'm like, what's up, Shy? So he paused. He looked at me. I'm like, you don't even remember me. I'm like, for random guys and shit. I was like, you came to um shot that funeral. You don't remember you pulled up in the Jeep, bro. We were right there talking. He was like, Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, and people. He was like, oh, okay. He got his whole vibe changed when I said that. I swear when I was like, from the guy, hey, you, his whole vibe changed. That nigga ain't asked me no more about no matches than that. He hop on the phone. He like, hey, what you say, babe? Go to matches warehouse. I uh, just stepped off. Like, damn, shit, what the fuck? You. <laughs> He can't even buy a mattress from a nigga. He gonna fuck out my commission. Did I say I'm for the guy? I like when I say he got out of there. No question. I said, damn. You just had me here for 20 minutes. Ask me about beds and shit. And then as soon as I say the guy is an aunt, your shit said, I ain't even see him dial a number because, like, real life, he just put a phone to his ear and said, Ha, babe, I'm in mattress for her. You say go to mattress warehouse. I jet it. I'm like, damn, shit. You think I was gonna drop your location or something, man? Ain't no wild nigga like that, shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, serious. Yeah, it really wasn't that serious, bro. I was like, when I said little feet said, step it shit, <laughs> step it on shit, she got out of there. I was like, damn. Like, bro, like, I don't know what be wrong in there. I was like, as soon as I said your name and said that God, and I said, shot that funeral. He paused, got on the phone. I said, bro, I can see you. You did not dial not one number. You just pulled the phone out your pocket, hopped out of a fucking. It's like, First of all, back to the warehouse? He tried to make sure he was in the wrong joke. Yeah, yeah it's about, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to hit the shot for his tough as some. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm a mattress fan. Oh, you said mattress warehouse? I and just walked down. I was like, bad fact, it was up on Columbia. That's where it was. Right by Columbia. Like on the borderline and shit, right up there by Silver Springs. I was like, damn, child, you got out of there, bro. But he was solo dolo, though. No security, no nothing. I said, That's oh, yeah. Spot. Yeah, I said, they must don't know you or something. I said, it's a lot, you know, Caucasian motherfuckers up here. They don't know who you is. They just think you're a short nigga with a hot top fade. I feel like, though, in Washington, D.C., shot don't need no security. Like, I don't feel like nobody and, in the city's not doing nothing. No yeah, yeah, really, yeah. But I in see his that. Head, in his head, like, in his head, he built some shit to feel like that. But in real life, I don't think nobody tried to do that. Yeah, no, no, nah, nah, real like, But that's what I felt like he thought I was trying. As soon as I said, I'm from the God, and, and I, it, it like, he felt like I was about to. Had some niggas pull up on them or something. I was like, shit, there ain't nobody on that shit, bruh. Nobody. First of all, we from like, bro, we ain't even from no back door type of her. Yeah, yeah, like, bruh, I was yeah, like, like, man, you see, I was on my own money shit. You I don't think about the, back door. Commission. Bro, if anything, you tracking the tip. Man, what the commission be spanking? I was like, oh, yeah, shit. I'm about to get you the best bed. Nigga, you want the purple? This is just super comfortable. <laughs> Ain't I'm gonna hook you up with the motherfucking recliner. Boy, yeah, get it. What you say? Mattress warehouse. I'm in mattress firm. I said, I shouldn't even say that. I should just sold that motherfucker. I said, and, and, I you, went home, and you went home saying that. Damn, I should have never said it. Yeah, for real. I said, I'd have, I'd have got it. I said, because he was asking a rack of questions. I was going to get that nigga hooked up and everything. He was, he was on it. He was going to get it. But then I was like, I was standing beside him. I'm like, damn, this nigga little as shit. I was like, you don't even remember me. Because he was asking about the bed. I was like, you don't even remember. He paused and looked at He was like, nah. I was like, from the guards. He was like, oh, what's up? I was like, we was at Sean that funeral years ago, bro. I was like, you don't remember? I was like, I be with people. I was like, GQ, my cousin. He was like, oh, OK. He stepped off, go look at a nut, fake like he was looking at another mattress. So I'm like, you know, I ain't going to hound him and shit. Like, I'm. And last stop, I'm going to go ahead and let my man look around. All I heard was, you said matches me how I look back. I'm like, damn, I'm going to give you the deal, bro. What the fuck? He walked smack out the door. Hey, bro, it's two days in this world. Listen, if Shaw sitting somewhere, right, 
and people can be behind him and y'all yell out, hey, Glizzy GQ, I swear to God, he gonna look back. Oh, my grandmother. Yeah, yeah. There's no way he gonna hear the words and keep walking. No way in America. If when I said the gods, I swear to God, out, he did hey, the Lord. GQ, the gods, he gonna, this shit might stumble. <laughs> I don't know why he be acting like that. Though. Ain't nobody, that shit was tea. Nobody even mad. I'm over there. I'm not just. Yeah, yeah it blew the shit out of me, though, because I was just like, damn. He just died like real loud. Step the fuck off, though. Ain't want a bad match. He fake make a phone call. I'm like, that's what females do when they don't want a nigga to holler at him and shit. They just get on the phone. Like, bitch, I so you ain't need dollar number, bitch. I ain't all you had to say. I ain't all you had to say. No, I don't want no matches. The fuck? Yeah, like he didn't even say I'm good or nothing. All I heard was Magic Warehouse. Then in my head, I'm thinking like, bro, Magic Warehouse, like four more blocks up the street. You already right here. And you'll help I, Curry this motherfucker if he needs it. Man, with that, man you would have gave me a nice commission off of that shit. Because I said, man, I was spanking their ass in that joint. I know. Cranking mattress burn. Every two weeks, like three, four K off of mattresses. About to go get me Damn, <laughs> man. Fuck. It'd be all right, though, man. Oh, yeah, I thought this shit talking about some Wiz Khalifa, this Liz Khalifa. Oh, yeah. Look, that's what I love about your uh people in your motherfucking comments. They be being with you, bro. Look. Oh, no, they just... oh, so Wiz Khalifa, this Somebody Liz Khalifa. Look. Yeah, because one thing, I get them motherfucking cooks. I'm like, you anybody hop on that junk, I'm, I'm going to burst you. Don't let the looks fool you. A hundred rounds. Man, hey, but I think you and Shasha should go ahead and squat there. I don't know what the fuck that fish shit was about, but we, I think you just. We is one day, though. Like at the end of the yeah. day, bro, I got y'all knew each other for so long though. Before all this shit, y'all knew so, each other for years. It's just, it's so Low much kids. Shit. It's so much shit from the street. First of all, I'm not in the streets. He's still stuck on that. He still think that. He still thinking that act. Like he 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 ain't been around me years. He still. How can I say it without tipping? He still think I feel some type of way about certain type of shit, bro. It is what it is, bro. It's life. I'm out in the streets. I took my L's. It is what it is. Yeah, but y'all got both of y'all trying on motion. He, I don't even know if that nigga even rap anymore. I ain't hear a goddamn song, a <laughs> mixtape. Any nigga but, in the world that can give me a hundred dollars to a million dollars, I'm always with it. I know for a fact I can put at least a hundred to a million dollars in Shad Jesse's pocket by just, I don't give a fuck what it is. We don't even got to be around each other. We just do that shit virtually. And a bag going to come just because motherfuckers going to want to see like that. This. You got to think like this. He already comfortable in life where he at, no matter if he get bigger or smaller. He comfortable himself in his world. It'll open too many doors for, for me. I might, I'm going to shoot way past him, bro. If a motherfucker know they can be cool with me and shy mad at them, everybody going to want to be cool with me, bro. Nah, I be saying be because... Cool me, but it's like, bro, shy don't like him. I got to be quiet. Look, I... Look, I be saying it. I said, look, he ain't know you was going to come up this fast, though. I see it. I was oh, like, man, man dang. Y'all both got different muscles. He couldn't picture me doing this shit in a million, but he don't even know, bro. I got the game from him. I watched this nigga go from nothing to something. So that make me believe I can go from nothing to something. I watched this nigga walk in rooms and do his own deals. Like, tell shit, just speak. It's his way. I learned. I learned that shit. I seen it. So I just nah, y'all was like, like this. So that's why I said, I knew you had to pick up some of that shit, bro. bro. He I knew told you. me everything, bro. I know his closet. I know his room. Listen to me. There's nobody in Glizzy Gang that know where Shaq Glizzy live. Nobody goes. To, I'm the only nigga ever been to Shaq Glizzy house in the world. Like, there's no nigga in the world ever been to Shaq Glizzy house. That's why I, I'm the only. I ain't, I ain't even hopping on, but I ain't know who the fuck who Glizzy, three Glizzy. Home. I ain't know who the fuck any of them was anyway, because I always remember. You, you GQ, and Shy used to always be together. None That's why I was like, where the fuck these other niggas came from? No, I don't know. But I said maybe they were some niggas from off Minnesota he linked up with once y'all thought, yeah. But I was like, I remember y'all, GQ, all y'all used to be guy. I don't know who the fuck Blue and Three and all them niggas is. They came in. It, like, first, when we first started Glitz Game, Three probably was like 11 years old. He couldn't hang with us anyway. Even Taliban, I don't no, even know where that came out. 
That nigga came out of Gatorade bottle, bro. I don't know where the fuck that nigga from, bro. I swear to God, to this day, like, he's still the nail. Like, but the nigga went to jail. Yeah. Nobody even know who he at. That's like, you know, nobody knew who he was. Can't nobody call I ain't know who he was. Who the Taliban? Like, how can you? Who called his cousin? Who the fuck is his cousin? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, these was new brains. I don't know who the fuck them niggas was. I said, I was all new brains. But I, you was the day I, one. I, Long as he won it, long the I right, first of all, the job was for him to win in life. It was never about me, it was never about nobody else. It was the, the shit was for him to win and become a successful rapper. That's what happened. That's all I don't give a fuck which way it happened. The plan still happened. The plan was for him to become a successful rapper, and that's what happened. Like, other than that, like it was still worked out. Like, that's why like I worked out. Look, people don't even know. Look, I'm an OG from the hood. When I say these niggas. Young niggas used to be working, going through little shows in the hood and all. Like, they came from the dirt, started the whole Glizzy shit. And it's like, I seen niggas coming around. I'm like, the fuck is Glizzy? And they turned it into something. Real ass. Whole world know this. The, first of all, the Glizzy name is so motherfucking big, they stole it and put it on the hot dog. Y'all don't even see that. Like, a nigga but, made that shit... No. A nigga made that shit so big, they stole it and put it on the hot dog. Y'all, come on, man. The world stole that name. But look, that yeah. Was, other cities... Other cities was starting to call the little the chop of the glizzies. So I was like, yeah. look, DC niggas started that. They definitely started it. I'm trying to ask they, them, uh, why they did is, um, Look, I'm surprised they ain't say, hey, Wale. <laughs> man, Wale, the, man, Wale, the rappers be turning. I just seen a, a rapper Curry Wale. I ain't see Wale put. Last time I seen Wale in person, we was in DC with Nike boot. I ain't no, seen him since. Ain't living like that. Fuck no. That was when they used to have Georgia <laughs> Avenue Day. Well, you know we ain't had Georgia Avenue Day in years around in DC. Man, I ain't seen Wale since. I don't even know what Wale. Do we still rap? Nah, I don't. That's why I said last time I remember seeing him when they had George Avenue Day and he was performing Nike boot. Yeah, that was the last time I seen that nigga DC. I seen him around the guys at the fence. Oh yeah, he did shoot that bait video. Yeah, I was around it when he shot that shit. Yeah. That was the probably last time. That bait video. Oh, that joint was shot on in there. I ain't seen him. I don't know where he be or what he do. I My man became bad. a poet. He said, fuck rap. He became a poet. Bus boys and poor ass niggas. Oh man, y'all go ahead with that. They trying to add bad man. Who you feel like bigger? Shaq Lizzy or Fat Trail? Or is they in the same point of their career? I mean, they both faded in the limelight. And this ain't for no hate on you. They both faded. They don't put out nothing no more. I mean, for y'all to jump out there and put DC on, and then it's like y'all drop with like four songs, and I don't even know about that trio. I was like, yeah, that, he dropped out of MG. They dropped them quick. <laughs> I said, damn, like that the was too quick. Filled on the pinnacle selling week in 2023. <laughs> that's, that's a whole reverse though. You, you, uh, you back when you started zip from trail. I said, what? Nigga, That's backwards. You sell weed, rap, get out the hood just to go back and start back selling weed. That's the dumbest shit ever. He can't get sleeping raw, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Trail couldn't take us to the yeah. stop and get that shit yeah, in the I'll, house. That's crazy. I'm about to say, man, raw, so we ain't stop. Man, he don't need no rappers no more. That nigga don't even give a what? fuck about. You think Fat Trail <laughs> could take me and you to Wing Stop and get us some free food? What? On the trip of him, <laughs> him knowing Rick Ross? Fuck no. Man, they gonna charge them, man. They gonna be like, yeah, spank is like a hundred dollars for a four piece. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pep his ass. They be like, who? I mean, they probably wouldn't even know who he is in Wingstop. I'm gonna keep it one. Yeah, yeah Wingstop do be having fun in there. Like my daughter, young. I even I was playing. I ain't gonna swear. Fat Trill song came on the radio, and my daughter was like, "Who is that?" I was like, "Fat Trill." She was like, "Fat who?" I was like. All she knows is Rod Wave. I was like, that's the only fat person you know? No, Rod Wave. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. I say true. Can't Bro, fuck Rod with no Wave. wave. Fat Trail is like a Ferrari in a motherfucking 1964 Buick. 
That's why I said, ho. Somebody just said that too. I said, Mo, Fat Trill is like a local, he back down to being like a local city rapper now. Like, you'll see Trill doing venues or something. Like, he ain't about to do no big shows and shit like that no man, more. Like, Fat Trill at RK Stadium, Mo, it's, man, stop playing. Man, it's selling about 200 tickets. Two, you gave him 200? I was thinking at least 60. He gave out a thousand to the men. <laughs> Like, I was trying to look out for the crowd. I was like, look. Listen, if Fetro can get 200 people somewhere, he'd be booked up every day, bro. 200 people a lot on the bookings. Yeah, it, it depends. He got a child only like $10. Like, niggas ain't about to pay 50 to come and see you. You got like. All right. If they like yeah. Fetro live in concert, how much you think that's worth? Like, how much you would pay for it? Like, a reasonable oh, price. Like, no money, no bill. Like him by himself or like with other people? No. Oh, just Fetrail. Just Fetrail. Right, man, that joke going to look like a Ja Rule concert, man. How, how, how much <laughs> you got for tickets? How much would you pay? Man, no more than a dub. All right, look, don't be biased. Answer these the true, the true answers. Mm. If Anglin's stand up comedy night, Big TV Live stand up for $50 on Fat Trail in concert for. Thirty-five dollars. Which one are you going to? I'm coming to see you guys. I'm sorry, cause I'm like, with that nigga going to do a concert with four songs? I don't remember no more than four songs. Hey, true, real life. And that's another thing I keep saying. How the fuck do he keep getting to play these same songs? Like, he sound the same name on every like song. You know the whole. How about the cock in the pot? It's top of the pocket. It's the same shit. I got the pills and the perk in the, I don't know what the fuck you talk about anymore. Hey, nigga, you can't talk about that. That was where It's like he had all the money at one point in time. He bought cigarettes and black teas and shit. <laughs> hey, well, even when they let him out, I said, oh, yeah. When they was posting, he got out, I said, oh, yeah. He about to hit the street with the fire. No, he... I said, 